This year's gypsy moth infestation was quite destructive, wiping off the foliage off of most trees. Despite doing our part and scraping off all of the nests that we could find in early spring, there were thousands and thousands of gypsy moth caterpillars everywhere. We'd do our best to squash as many as we could while trying to come up with natural pest control methods. In some areas, it almost looked like late November because the trees were completely stripped of their leaves. It constantly sounded like it was raining when it was actually just raining caterpillar poop. When the caterpillars metamorphosized into moths, more attempts were made to decimate their population. Lures with female moth pheromone were made to try and lure the males to the water. That's what you just saw me empty. This worked exceptionally well. But now that the gypsy moth season is over, I've spent the last few days cleaning the house from the remnants.
Now that the vegetable garden is abundant, I've been trying to find unique uses for much of the harvest since we simply cannot keep up with all of the fresh growth. This was my intention all along, to freeze and preserve as much of my harvest as possible to have delicious homegrown food throughout winter. I cannot wait to see what the end result will be in fall. Thank you.